Hello, my name is Dr. Jeannie Hernandez and I'm a cancer researcher at the University of Michigan Department of Chemistry. In 2013, I received the tremendous news that I would be supported by an American Cancer Society Michigan Cancer Research Fund postdoctoral fellowship. This award has allowed me to make amazing progress in my research and gain critical training in becoming a fully independent scientist and leader of my own laboratory in the near future. In this video, I hope to describe to you what the goals of my research are and the techniques that I use in order to achieve these goals. In my research, I am attempting to do two basic things. First is to understand what happens molecularly in cancer cells that cause them to spread. And second is to develop drugs that will stop this spread. When tumors spread from one primary site to another or a secondary site, this is called metastasis. Unfortunately, most cancer-related deaths are due to tumors that migrate from a primary site to a secondary site. I am trying to figure out why this happens and how to stop the spread of these cells. I have developed several cell models in the lab that follow the course of benign to malignant cells. Benign cells were previously derived from patients that had what we call benign tumors, and the cells are widely used by other cancer researchers throughout the world. We can grow them in the lab with great care and caution. The cells within these tumors display most of the features of normal tissue, with the exception that they grow and grow within the tissue. What are some of these features? As you can see in this picture, cells under the microscope appear to form clear junctions with one another. They express proteins that attach them to one another like glue so they do not detach from one another. These are the same cells with the protein stains so we can see if they're present and where they are in the cell. In green is a protein called scribble that serves as a tumor suppressor. It is located at the cell membrane. In benign cells, the cell membrane also contains the cell junctions. In red is a protein called e-cadherin that holds the cells together or keeps them adhered. When scribble and e-cadherin are in the same location within the cell, they overlap and you can see green and red together or yellow. These proteins and where they are within the cell are characteristic of epithelial cells, which cover and protect all the tissues in our bodies. Tumors that look like normal epithelial cells can usually be removed from the patient, and while they may return, they show no signs of metastasis, that is, they do not detach from their primary spot to invade elsewhere. We turn these cells into malignant cells by introducing factors that are characteristic of malignant cancers. These cells no longer display their attachments, and you can see they are more spindle-shaped and no longer attached to one another. Their shapes and the fact that they are detached from one another are features that promote malignancy. You can see in this picture that they no longer express e cadherin, which was red in the previous picture, and the tumor suppressor scribble in green is now diffusely distributed throughout the cell. It is no longer properly located at the cell junction. In the lab, we are attempting to understand what is fundamentally different between the benign and malignant cells and how we can equilibrate the malignant cells back to normal. Specifically, what proteins are elevated or reduced and how can we restore normal expression? Why is the tumor suppressor scribble no longer properly located at cell junctions and how can we restore it back to the junction in order for it to play its role as a tumor suppressor? Towards this end, we develop several drugs in the lab that target enzymes we believe are responsible for changing the expression pattern of proteins that protect cells from becoming malignant. When we treat our cells with these drugs, we see that scribble is drawn back to the cell membrane or cell junction in the malignant cells, and we also see that e cadherin expression can be restored. We believe this effect is happening because inhibiting these enzymes allows for a fatty acid to remain attached onto the scribble protein, allowing it to stay attached to the cell membrane. My experiments represent a new frontier in cancer research and will enable us to identify new biomarkers associated with malignancy and metastasis. It may also provide a means to pharmacologically restore the activity of certain tumor suppressors within cancer cells, potentially reversing their malignant status and restoring normalcy. Cancer is not only a growing public health concern. It is a personal issue for millions of people worldwide. I truly believe that basic science in the laboratory today promotes life-saving discoveries in the near future. The support of the American Cancer Society Michigan Cancer Research Fund 
has helped accelerate the pace of my research, and I am eternally grateful for your support.